I'm ready for flux. The flux that we use is Laco uh, Active Flux or Self Cleaning Flux. Now, people think because it says self cleaning on the bottle or on the tub, they've not got to clean it. I would always clean the pipes anyway, no matter what. Again, it's a good habit to get into. And then you're making sure that it's going to run for you. You get a small piece of flux and you put it on the outside of the pipe, just a thin coating like that. Then I grab the fitting. Some people put flux on the inside of the fitting. We mostly don't do that anymore. It's okay if it's hot water, cold water, or central heating water. The water will flush the flux off if it stays inside the pipe. But if it's on gas, it stays and can restrict the flow of the gas. So good practice is just flux the pipe and not the inside of the fitting. And I push a T-piece on like that. Make sure that we've went full slip, that it's pushed fully into the fitting. I get my next pipe. I can also, when I've cut it with the pipe slices, use a reaming tool. And that takes the edge off the inside, because that could be restricting the flow of the water or the gas, and just the outside to make it smooth. Again, I will just flux the outside, not too much. Put that in the T-piece in the fitting and hold it. And then the last piece of pipe, I'm going to put in. Now what you don't want to do is, you don't want to solder these two and leave that one out and then come back to it. You want to do the whole fitting in the entirety. So I'm doing a T-piece, I'll do the three ends. If I'm doing an elbow, always make sure I do both ends at the same time. And the same with a straight coupling. Make sure you do both ends at the same time. Then you know it's done. If I was to solder these two in, go away and come back at a later date, two things could happen. One, solder could run from this pipe or that one onto the bottom of that fitting and then I can't get the pipe in. Also what I'm doing is I'm oxidising it. So I've got to give it a good clean again to make sure it's done. And the third reason for it is when I put this last one in, I'm concentrating on that one. Sometimes the solder could run out or cause a leak in the two that I've already done. So if you're doing a fitting, make sure you do the whole thing in one hit and then you can forget about it. You know it's done. Again, last bit of flux. Now when you push it in, you may get some extra flux getting pushed out of the fitting. That's fine. Good practice again. If you wipe the flux off, because that could uh, burn and oxidise the pipe, leave that to the side and now I'm ready to solder.